intermediate tumors that spread locally. Coposiform hemangia endothelioma and tufted angioma. Coposiform hemangia endotheliomas and tufted angiomas are blood vessel tumors that occur in infants or during early childhood. These tumors can cause case batch merit phenomenon, a condition in which the blood is not able to clot and serious bleeding may occur. In case batch merit phenomenon the tumor traps and destroys platelets, blood clotting cells. Then there aren't enough platelets in the blood when needed to stop bleeding. This type of vascular tumor is not related to Kaposi's sarcoma. Signs and Symptoms Kaposiform hemangia endotheliomas and tufted angiomas usually occur on the skin of the arms and legs, but may also form in deeper tissues, such as muscle or bone. Signs and symptoms may include the following. Firm, painful areas of skin that look bruised. Purple or brownish red areas of skin. Easy bruising. Bleeding more than the usual amount from mucous membranes, wounds, and other tissues. Anemia, weakness, feeling tired, or looking pale. Diagnostic tests. See the general information section for a description of tests and procedures used to diagnose coposiform hemangia endothelioma. If a physical exam and MRI clearly show the tumor is a coposiform hemangia endothelioma or a tufted angioma, a biopsy may not be needed. A biopsy is not always done because serious bleeding can occur. Treatment Treatment of coposiform hemangia endotheliomas and tufted angiomas depends on the child's symptoms. Infection, delay in treatment, and surgery can cause bleeding that is life-threatening. Coposiform hemangia endotheliomas and tufted angiomas are best treated by a vascular anomaly specialist. Treatment and supportive care to manage bleeding may include the following. Steroid therapy which may be followed by chemotherapy. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAID, such as aspirin. Immunotherapy, interferon. Antifibrinolytic therapy to improve blood clotting. Chemotherapy with one or more anti-cancer drugs. Beta blocker therapy, propranolol. Surgery, excision, to remove the tumor, with or without embolization. Targeted therapy, cerulimus. A clinical trial of targeted therapy, cerulimus, and steroid therapy. Even with treatment, these tumors do not fully go away and can come back. Long-term effects include chronic pain, heart failure, bone problems, and lymphedema, the buildup of lymph fluid in tissues.